My name is Jana and I'm part of the marketing team for Alucab. I have somehow managed to convince my bosses to allow me to take some of our Alucab kitted vehicles out when I go camping. I then try my hand at filming these adventures so that I can share them with you. In this specific series, I'll be taking the 76 Land Cruiser with the Alucab Thor roof conversion all the way to Namibia. So stay tuned for some ups and downs, as well as some pretty epic scenery through the Namibian dunes and more. We finally reached the ocean after traveling 500 kilometers through the desert all the way from Solitaire. We were only heading to Vulfus Bay the next day, so on this particular day, we were going to do some sightseeing along the coast. So we've stopped for lunch at a shipwreck. The ship's name is the Bolin and um, it hit a sandbank here near Volfus Bay back in 1909. So yeah, it's massive. The Edward Bolin was a German cargo ship that ran aground while it was on its way to Table Bay from Swakopmund. The wreck currently lies in the sand 400 meters, about 1,300 feet from the shoreline. After lunch, we were on our way to visit abandoned mining settlements. The settlements were erected back in the heyday of diamond mining and were abandoned in 1914 when they were expecting an invasion from Allied troops. It was really hard to imagine people living in this barren, isolated landscape. At this point, Simon and I were still gushing over the dunes like it's the very first time we've seen them, and not day four already. Look at it! Nambabwe! <laughs> Look at Wookie Land! <laughs> so, this is called a slip face, and all of those cars just went down here. And we are next.
We arrived back to camp much earlier than the previous night when, well, if you watched the previous episode, you'll know we had a little bit of drama. It was lovely just to sit around for a bit, watch the sunset from a dune and take in our last night in the desert. I mean, <laughs> round one, two, three, four, page three of twenty. <laughs> Only two other people attempted what our guide just did. Rian in the Land Cruiser 200 and his son, Andre, in the Volkswagen Amarok. Simon and I just had to jump in with Andre for the ride. We then headed back to the ocean to drive along the coastline to Volfus Bay. So today is the last day and it has been absolutely insane already. Here comes the convoy. We just did the biggest dune dip play hole I have ever seen or experienced of course. Yeah, it was insane. I'll, I'll, obviously I'll put some videos in but we are now driving next to the ocean and on the other side of us is a big dune so we need to get through this um, path now before the water pushes up otherwise we can't get through which is pretty awesome such a cool day so far and it's the first day that it's actually quite cool out and um, obviously because we're near the ocean now so that's also nice we're heading to Volfus Bay now our final destination and um, then we're spending the night there and yeah sad that it's the last day but all good things come to an end and luckily for us, we still had one more night with the tour group ahead of us. We made our way past another shipwreck called Shawnee, but we couldn't spend too much time there because the water was pushing up and we preferred not to get stuck there on our last day.
We turn from the coast back into the dunes for one final rendezvous with the desert before heading out and back into public land. Once again, the face of the desert kept changing, this time looking completely different than to what we've seen before, with ocean, marshy lagoon and desert sand all mixed into one landscape. As we headed out of the private land in the desert where the tour took place, we started passing other vehicles again. After not seeing anyone else for the past five days, it felt quite strange. The time also came for us to inflate our tires again, and it began to sink in that we are back in civilization and our time in the Namib desert has come to an end. On our way to our accommodation for the night, we drove past the impressive salt production sites just outside of the town of Volfus Bay. The Volfus Bay Salt Company is the largest producer of solar sea salt in the sub-Saharan Africa. We reached the town and suddenly felt very out of place with our big sandy and muddy 4x4s driving around between the buildings. The weirdest thing was to put on a mask again when getting out of the vehicle. All right, so I'm feeling super fresh right now because I just had my first proper shower after the trip. We just arrived in Volfus Bay about an hour ago and we are settled into little chalets for the night, which is quite cool. We didn't um, know that we were going to be staying or not camping tonight, so it was a pleasant surprise. It's weird to be back in civilization after like the most amazing time, five days in the desert. So still climatizing. And then in like an hour or two, we are gonna go and do something very special that Live the Journey actually kept a surprise for us. So yeah, stay tuned. Black and into bright sand, straight toward the water. 
And so, with a sunset catamaran cruise, we ended off the Faces of the Namib tour with the Live the Journey team and our fellow tour group. I cannot recommend this trip enough, and I am still on an adventure high from the experience. Thanks again to Live the Journey, and if you've been following the series, thank you for the support. I've got one final episode coming up of Simon and I's trip back to Cape Town, so I will see you in the next one. I'm not going to stop, 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 st